Hey, it's Adam with Theros Media going through different advertisers online, seeing how we can improve ours. So I like to take a look at um, what people are doing, see how we can improve our advertising. So today we're looking at Aero um, SVC Center, so servicecenter.com. And it looks like they're bidding on ductless heating cooling system, but running into their heating page. So um, what I would do differently from the start is I would run into their air conditioning page. It looks to me like their air conditioning page would be um, more conducive to ductless. Be I know the keyword is heating and they probably have a heating keyword. Um, so again, let me, let me backtrack that. I would put a landing page specifically for this keyword because you're running into a heating page, which kind of relates, but it's not really ductless specific. So if you run, if you want to um, show up for a ductless keyword, I would have run into a ductless landing page. Um, landing page, doing this actually would be a decent setup for a landing page, except this is this is kind of this header is kind of big. Um, it, it doesn't really show the rest of the, the page, so the header is kind of big. I would lower this down a little bit, take out the outbound links, leave the call. This isn't a call button. This is just text. So I'll make this a call button. Um, it's a, it's a simple, you know, you make it a hyperlink and then you T E L colon then your what then your phone number, which makes it a call button, so people can click on on their phones and call out to you. Um, so to make this a landing page, get rid of the outbound links, make this a little smaller, have a ductless, you know, I'll I'll build a landing page template for ductless. Make this a um, ductless split over here, form over here, get your estimate or whatever it is, and then information below it to support why that you get an estimate from you. Um, yeah, so make this landing page built for the keyword you're going after. It looks like you're going after a heating keyword. I can't see here because you don't have UTM tracking set up, so I would set that up as well. UTM tracking helps you verify what's working and what's not with your advertising through Google Analytics. So you go on two different um, platforms to verify it. And yeah, heating page. It doesn't really relate. It does relate, but not really. Um, so that's what I would do. Build a landing page, UTM tracking, and I would keyword prune. Douglas heating cooling system shouldn't be showing up, shouldn't be going to your heating page. Um, it's just, it doesn't really relate that well because it's a Douglas keyword in there. So taking that out of the, you're spending money on keywords that or search terms that you don't want to show up for for your keywords that you're bidding on. So keyword pruning is a good way to get rid of that. They do have a Facebook pixel set up. I apologize for not having all this set up before I got on their website. Let's see what is going on on their website, what they're built with. So this is... Okay, they have all the analytics set up good, site tag set up, conversion tag set up good. Okay, so they're, they're trying to track what's working and what's not. It's just whoever's managing the AdWords campaign is um, not taking out the keywords that aren't converting from what it looks like. Okay, that's a good thing. So they have all everything set up that they would need. And I don't see their, their Facebook right there. All right, so let's see if their Facebook page is actually ad remarketing to the people um, who are coming to the site. So go on to their Facebook page now. Okay. God. And where are they located? I think in Austin. Yep, Austin. All right, so let's do a Facebook search. Austin. Oops. There we go. That looks like it's the same company. It is. All right. So found their Facebook page. Just need to fix that Facebook link on your website. It's taking people to a dead link. Arrow Service Center. Okay. All right. Page transparency. Let's see if they're advertising. Nope, they're not running ads. So they're not remarketing to people who've been on their website. They've spent money on this keyword. They probably spent, for this keyword, they probably spent 50 bucks per click. Um, and they're not remarketing to people who've been to their website. So 
that's the next thing I would do. After you create a landing page, remark to the people who've been to your website. Um, it's just a good habit to get into. It lowers your cost per conversion for pretty much everything you're doing. And you can even do it in one fell swoop. So let's say people are, I would build out different campaigns for different, um, like if you're advertising on Google, I'll have a campaign specific to that campaign in Google on Facebook to remark to that. But if let's say you don't want to do that. Let's say you want to do a broad um, one fell swoop remarketing. Anybody who's been to your website in the last 30 days, you should be remarketing to to figure out or to get them to call your business again. So I would have two ads set up or actually three. I would have a catch all remarketing to give you a call, catch all remarketing to give uh, to submit a lead form on Facebook that pushes to your email and catch all remarketing to go to your contact page so they can submit a form um, to reach out to you. So that's right here. And they can schedule an in-home consultation. So I would I would do something like that. And one good thing that you can do if you're using a field management system, I found this company yesterday and they're awesome. Um, shoot, I gotta look up the name of the company, but I have a call with them today and they're pretty awesome to work or to, to look at. It would be, shoot, I'll get the name of the company and put it in the link description, but they're an awesome company for field men or for contractors who are using Service Titan, House Call Pro, whatever field management system you're working with, they take this lead form right here and they make this into a um, form that automatically pushes it to your calendar and inside your field management system. So that helps contractors a lot. You don't have to, you don't have to deal with um, all the lead forms that we get on a day-to-day basis, home advisor, Angie's List, home guide, um, all of them. It, it takes the lead forms on your website and doesn't add to the clutter in your inbox. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully this makes you more money and we'll talk to you soon.